Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today I am here to share with you another um, project from Scrap Diva Designs. This is all of her information, her website right there and all of her socials. So make sure you're following along to see what everybody creates. Even if you're not on the design team, um, post what you make there. We like to see it all. So anyway, there is all of that info. And so I'm going to share with you today, the die set that I used is the Skeleton Mini Album. And it's so funny because this is the project I, this is the die and project I started working on the very first, <laughs> when I very first got my design team package. Um, yeah, this is the one I picked out to do the project with first, and I started on it, and then I put it aside and started using all the others, and... I finally went back to it and finished it. So anyway, I thought I'd come on and share with you what I made with it. Um, this one has the four pieces. I think that's all that comes with this one. I don't think there's any. Is there extras? I can't remember. Um, I don't think so. I think it's just these. Okay, so I think you got, here's your base piece. Let's put it on this way. Here's your, your like your outline piece. And then here is the stitched layer piece. Okay, so you can layer those up if you just want a kind of a shaped page. You have this piece here that does more, uh, it's stitched and it's more of the outline of the, um, of the, the skeleton piece. So this piece, it's all one piece, but these will all cut out separately. Okay, but it's nice that it's one piece so you don't have to like put this bone up there and cut it, and then put this bone up there and cut it, then put this bone up there and cut it. So it's all on one piece, so you just boom, lay it down, and it cuts out, you know, all those different pieces separate. Okay. So, and I used a couple other dies um, from Scrap Diva also that I will, you know, point out to you on this as I share it with you. So, let me show you. So this is what I made. Here's, and I went ahead and made a mini album out of it. Okay. Um, I didn't put a, like a lot, you know, a bunch of um, like photo mats and that kind of stuff. I kind of just made the pages and then I'll stick the other things in as I, you know, when I decide to make a, um, when I decide to put pictures in it. Okay. So here is on this first page. So here, this black layer down here, that's the very outline piece. Here's the stitched layer piece for it okay this back piece this black piece in the back that is um let me show you sometimes it's hard to tell okay so this is the black piece that the bones are on and then here is the piece everything's all sticking together here is the piece that cuts that cut out all the white glitter um bones okay so then I just placed them, you know, on here. Okay, and so then um, I have a hat and a bow on it. I decided that looked cute. And this is from a die set from last year from Scrap Diva. It is, it must be, um, let's see, which piece did it come with? Was it the skulls or the candy corn? I can't remember now. But it's in this pack, so it's got to be one of those three sets. <laughs> I'll link whatever's uh, still available, okay? So I got, because there's the candy corn set and the skull set. So maybe it came with, I don't remember, but I'll figure it out. Okay, and it's got a spider. So anyway, there's the hat and there's the bow, okay? And um, this is just a uh, um, rosette that someone had made me. Here is um, a word scary that I cut out from. She's got all these three Halloween word sets, which are so cool. I love them all. So this is Halloween set uh, two. It has the word scary in it. Okay. So that is that right there. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay. And then hanging over here, I have the ghost tag. That is another Scrap Diva set. So that's the ghost tag set. And it has the two uh, mirrored pieces and then all these words that come with it also. Okay. I didn't put any words on it. I just used one, uh, just kind of ephemera piece, a sticker piece from an, a set that I had. Um, I hooked it on with some chain. 
and then I have some um, this yellow chain right here and then I attached um, a little charm this haunted house charm and a um, spider web little piece there and then tied some ribbon on my jump ring right here or not my jump ring my um, binder ring um, I used some of these wide eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers. I put a different one on each page. Tied some twine up here. His eyes are some gems. I don't use gems very often. I love to use enamel dots, but I'm not very attracted to blingy, gemmy pieces. So, but those did, were kind of cute. They were black and they kind of like, it was kind of like an ombre effect. Went from black to gray to like silver on the top. So I used those there. Okay, on the back side, it's just the two um, base pieces, you know, the, the base and then the layering piece. And then I use the um, the word die set again. So I've got spiders, and it comes from word set number one. Okay, and then I used the um, the web. And the spider is from the pumpkin mini album set. So I use that right there. Okay, and then the rest is just kind of blank. And then just a piece, a sticker from a collection. Okay, this one, it's got the two layering pieces. And then this white piece here is the one I showed you that cuts out the shape, more of the shape of the, of the skeleton. Okay, and then this one I cut out in black and um, just added those on there. This is another one of the ghost eyes. I just kind of put it sideways and then I use the word spells from the um, sets. And let me see which set is that one in. Spells is in uh, word set number two also. If I were you, I'd get the whole word bundle. They are so useful and so cute on all of them. Okay, and then I layered up a flower that somebody had made me in a swab. Here's another one of the wide eyelets in orange. Okay, this back page. Oh, and I should mention that I'm using Hey Pumpkin collection. Um, I wish that the um, only thing I wish about it is that I had more pages that were that had the blue in it. <laughs> I only have the a couple of the big sheets that don't have hardly any blue in it, and then I have the six by eight pad, which only I think it only had like two two pages that had the blue in it, and I really like that accent color. So, but anyway, I used what I had, <laughs> and then some of the stickers to bring out some of the blue too. So this is a sticker from the Hey Pumpkin. Um, this has just the two layers here. Um, not didn't put the skeleton on this one. Here's a a bat pick from the Dollar Tree. This is a piece of spider web from the spider bow die set from Scrap Diva. Let's see, where is that one at? I think I have all my dies still sitting here. It's just a matter of where. <clears throat> okay, where is it? Because I know I had it here. Huh. Maybe I took it up. Oh, it's on the other side of this book. <laughs> right here. So this is, that was um, the small web cut out, and then I just cut a piece off of it. So anyway, I use half pieces all the time of stuff. So that's just kind of stuck behind there for some more um, layers. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, and then this side, I just have the two layers, and then I use this, this ghost eye is from my, is was in my stash already. This is a bow, the same as on the front with the witch hat. And then here's the word sweet, which is from set uh, where is that one from? That must be in one of the other sets that has a word with it. Oh yeah, okay. It is from the Candy Corn um, mini album set. It has some words with it. It has treat and then it has sweet and um, sweet and scary or something like that. So I used the sweet from that one on here and layered it up. And then there's some tool and stuff hanging out the bottom and some bling and some little stickers. 
Okay. And then this back page of this is just some of the Dollar Tree trim. It's only tacked on the edges. Um, there's the spider bow. I just used a spider piece. I put a piece of, I th um, fed a piece of um, ribbon through the top part of them there for the black and white. And then here's some stickers it's from the A Pumpkin collection. Okay, and then this back page is, um, I love this one. I put one of those little brooms I got from uh, Timu, and then I put a pink bow on it, put some, also some black um, eyelash trim. I put a few little stars, uh, sticker stars from the Hey Pumpkin collection, some of the stars down here, and a cute little hat up there again. And then the word broom, and that one is from set one. Okay. All right, and then this is just a little puppy bat sticker um, for there. And so what I did on this one, so this one, as you can see, it's layered on some foam. It's not a very thick, thick foam, but I cut out everything from foam. So I cut these two together, okay? So both of these dies cut out on foam. And then when they cut out, I put the pieces back inside uh, on these pieces, these three pieces I put back inside. I left the bones on, you know, for the legs and arms out, but all the other pieces I put back in. I thought that looked pretty cute. And so it gives it, you know, quite a bit of dimension, you know, so the eyes and the bones and stuff are kind of hollow and looking in there. So I thought that was cute. And then the back is just plain and I put a little cross and skull bones. That's from the, um, skull um, bag top or the small one. I'll put a tag back there. And then, so that is it. So I used a lot of dies on this and um, yeah, this Skeleton Mini album is so cute. And if you've been following along with every, what everybody's been creating, there's tons of cute little felties and stuff, little um, things that people are making out of these. And it is so darling. So anyway, you need to pick this up. Anyway, that's it for today's share. I will be back with more. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.